Okay, it took a minute to come back here. We are, we're back. We're gonna show you how to reinstall the filter. What I usually do is come over to the filter cartridge, or the filter itself, the uh, thing, and I get rid of as much of this dirty water as possible because it's got a lot of algae in it. Dump that out. There's the bottom, there's your actual pump. Now see how the hoses go in there? If you don't put those black things inside the pool, then it'll just be filling this up and it'll be flooding out. So that's why you have to put those in there. So then you take your filter and you slide it in there, just set it in there. Now this, these edges right here, I can't tell because it's so bright outside this morning, but these edges, these edges right here, all this around here is what's got a seal against this black part. But you don't want to do it too tight. So you just set it on there, you kind of turn it backwards, reverse, hold this down at your foot. Just reverse it back until it feels like it's spinning. And as you can see what I did with my filters, I attached to that one board. It's a five quarter board for fencing. So that it's got something to rest on so I can hold it with my foot. See, that's what I did. I put a couple screws in each side of it like that. Because otherwise you don't have anything to hold it to to screw this on or unscrew it. So that's one thing else that I forgot to show you all that I did. But anyways, you just get it to where it sets down and then you just tighten it up. And then just a little bit more is all it needs. You don't go too tight because if you do, then you won't be able to get it back off because it tightens up some more. All right, and now you come over here. You take off this one. What I've done is I took a little, these packs where you put your uh, little bobber things that you put in for your dishwasher. And I use it to keep some water and put these in so they maintain freshness. See how it's bubbling? I mean, just filling that back up with water. And put that back on. Now what you do, this is how you start it up so you don't get any air in it. Or so you don't get any air pockets to start with. You just, this is meant to crack the air out of it. Or listen, listen. Hear that? Letting all the air out. Now let it air out. Now see how it's overflowing with water? Just leave that cracked a little bit first. And I've got the line running all the way over here. Remember the other video? Don't put extension cord on it. This is the real cord that comes from it. It's not on an extension cord. It's buried underneath the ground over to it. And what you want to do is you want to plug it in. And it'll sound like it's struggling at first. But you don't want to hear it gasping for air. See how it's just pumping? Then you close this valve. See how that worked? That little bit of screechiness will go away. See how that worked? It, it got all the air out of the system. If you just start it up without bleeding it, it'll gas for air and it'll start sucking air and it won't pump correctly. So that's why you gotta bleed the air out of it. But uh, again, I put just a little bit of tablets. I put the tablets in the floater thing and I put some algicide in it. Now I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna stir the pool up because you know this pump doesn't really stir it up as much as I'd like it to. I'm gonna stir the pump up itself and I'll get it back to crystal clear. So this is Jack's G-Man 44, like all these videos and uh, hopefully they're helping everybody out. And again, people are talking about that I haven't put the rope around the bottom of the pool. I'll show y'all, that's the rope. That's what happened to it, it all rotted, see? See how it rots right here? I'll show y'all a good picture of it. There's what the rope turned into after five years of being put on and off, so it doesn't really do anything. So all the rope haters out there that's been telling me, you didn't put the rope around the bottom. Well, it's around the bottom. It's just, it's, it's, it's broken and it's all corroded and it's rotten. And I put it around the bottom. It's just, you can't see it, number one. Number two, it really doesn't do anything. But this, this does something. You gotta make sure that's on the outside. That does help. The main thing is the gap between here needs to be even this is where all your weight supported right here this is all your weight make sure these stand up make sure this works make sure these clips are in this is where your weight is at as you can see these are kind of crooked this year because it's this whole pool is leaning a little bit that way because i put sand here so you've got a few more blocks over there than you do over here but you know what in the whole grand scheme of things it's not gonna make a difference but anyways, Jack Gman 44 out, like my page, ask me any questions you want. Again, I do a lot of different projects around here. If there's anything that you guys want to see, here's something you want to see. See all that water in there? Wish I could catch somebody underneath it. Maybe I should catch my son underneath it today. That's a lot of water. I should put that in a, in a something to make a optical 
something out of it. Anyways, like my page. Check y'all out later. Bye.